Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to view other sign placements, you can visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. The links to those are in the description box below. Um, Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when um, I go live for the winners. Um, so I'm going to be actually choosing the winners from that live. So make sure that notification bell is on and popping so you don't miss it, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um... I do not take personal readings, my loves. So any phone numbers you see, uh, it's not me. If anyone reaches out to you, it is also not me. If you need a personal reading, I could recommend two different uh, uh, situations. We've got Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot, or there is an app, uh, and this is only for iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, the app's name is Spiritualism Live. The link for it is below. Um, they do like per minute readings and everything. It's from a friend of a friend of mine, so I know the app is legit. Um, I think they're doing three minutes free for the first three minutes or something like that. So you could check the uh, both of those readers out. The links are in the description box below, okay? All right, so let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please, in love. Cancer, please, in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got heartstrings, and we've got anchor. We have revenge. We've got gossip. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got jealousy, and we've got love. Okay. We've got blind under the deck. All right, so Cancer, I don't like this energy. This is a little mean. I'm not going to lie. I I'm not I'm not I'm not totally super excited about this energy. Okay, uh, Cancer, this particular reading, all my readings are love readings, but this particular one could be friend or family member. Okay, so you take it friend, family member, even love interest. Okay, Cancer, this is somebody um, that is stringing you along. Okay, this is someone that says that they love you, says that they care about you. This is someone that, you know, that they do everything they can to try to keep the connection together. But what this person is doing is they're going around to their friend group and saying how they're going to get some type of revenge on you. Like, for instance, for instance, um, this could be, I don't know, a friend that's coming to you and they're smiling in your face and then they turn to uh, their sister or something and they say yeah you know cancer thinks everything's fine but I didn't forget I didn't forget what cancer did to me you know two years ago and now I'm gonna take cancer for whatever cancer has I'm gonna have cancer loan me money I'm gonna have uh, cancer you know do this or you know uh, co-sign for a car or I'm gonna have cancer do this this and that and I'm gonna get my lick back do you understand what I'm saying? This person is spreading rumors about you possibly, or this person's talking to people badly about you. They're being petty. This person is ultimately envious of you. This is a hater, whether it's the person that you're having sex with, whether it's a love interest, a husband, a wife, baby mama, baby daddy, the friend or family member. This is a true hater. This is someone that wants to be you, but they can't. Or this is someone that wants what you have, but they can't, okay? Um, I don't know if you actually did something to this person, Cancer, or if this person is just, they feel the need to tear you down or punish you in some way because you have more than them or they feel that, you know, sometimes people just make things up in their own head, you know, I don't know, okay? 
I feel like this person is very good at blinding you to the truth, okay? Um, this person does watch your social media. This person does watch your social media, but this person's very good at keeping their true intentions hidden, okay? Um, you may not see the truth, and people may have even warned you about this, but you just don't see it. You're just not seeing it. Spirit, tell me about cancer and love. Tell me about cancer and love. Tell me about cancer and love. Tell me about heartstrings for cancer. Heartstrings for cancer. We've got the tower. Something happened between you and this person. Oh, okay, and the six of wands. Cancer, I feel like you came into some kind of success. I don't know if you lost weight. I don't know if you got a promotion. I don't know if you started a business. I don't know if you bought a brand new car. I don't know if you dyed your hair or grew a beard or you did something here that was a little life-changing for you, okay? You're just happier, more confident. You overcame something. Maybe you finally got your degree in school or I don't know, but there's something here that you accomplished and you feel really good about it, okay? And it was a tower moment for this person. It was a tower moment for this person. Maybe you guys are in a, sex, a, a, a successful relationship and this person doesn't like it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. For each of you, it's going to be different. You lost weight. You went to some, I don't know. You took your power back. You, you started your healing journey. You know, misery loves company, Cancer, right? Misery loves company. Maybe, you know, you had an addiction and you were able to overcome that addiction and this person didn't. I don't know. But it was a very shocking when the person on this side found out about what you were doing. It was extremely shocking. And they had to hold it together. Like this is someone or maybe you got pregnant and this person can't have children. I don't know. Okay. But it's like I'm, I'm envisioning kind of like a table. And the news gets 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 released and this person has to just smile and hold it together. Meanwhile, like they're dying inside. Do you see what I'm saying? Tell me about revenge, please. We've got the hermit. This is someone that sits home alone at night, literally plotting on how to get you back or push, you know, put you down the hermit and revenge. And the ten of cups, because you're happy. Because you're happy with the star card here. You're happy, you're at peace, you're getting attention. You're getting attention and with gossip and the five of swords here and the five of pentacles, what we have here is someone that literally has no shame. This is someone that's talking to people about how they're going to screw up your life and how they're going to take money from you or cost you something. Three of swords, this person wants to cause you some type of pain. They want to see you miserable, crying, broke and with nothing. They want to see that. You have what someone else was hoping for. You have this Ten of Cups situation, the Six of Wands situation. This is all victory and long-term love and long-term stability. here. You have something that this person wants. And this could be your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You'd be shocked. It doesn't mean that because you're sleeping with somebody or it's a romantic relationship that someone here can't be jealous of your success, okay? You could come together with somebody, Cancer, and maybe this person had a high paying job and you had a less paying job and that person lost their job and you ended up starting a business and now you're financially stable and secure and you're making more money and they aren't. You don't see it that way. The way you see it is whether you're making money or I'm making money, we're still making money. We're still supporting ourselves. You know, I got you, you got me. What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. You may not see it this way, but this this person may hold some form of resentment because they're used to being the bread, you know, maker or earner, whatever you call it, you know, uh, the breadwinner, right? And now you are, okay? Like some, it, it could be anything. God bless you, buddy. Buddy just sneezed. Um, you know, so it could be anything. It could be friend, family member, lover. I mean, this is someone. And the crazy part is they talk about it. They t they're talking about this to somebody. God bless you. Oh, he sneezed again. Are you okay? They are talking about it to people, about how they're going to tear down your success. It's an actual conversation. 
Tell me about jealousy. These people are haters. Six of Cups, I'm telling you, it could be friends. It could be family. This, These are people that you know. Um, with judgment here, this could be people that are coming back asking for a second chance with you. Okay, tell me about the judgment card. Like if you're not speaking to these people or with judgment here, this could be people that are judging you for things that you've done in your past. Like it could be somebody here that's trying to dig into your past to find dirt on you to make you look bad. Do you see what I'm saying? It could be people that are trying to find situations from your past to make you look bad. Tell me about love here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor in the reverse. Cancer, I feel that you have something that people love you. You've got something big coming towards you. It's either, it could be a relationship or whatever. You're loved by either... So depending on the way you want to do this reading, okay, it could be that you're about to be in a relationship with someone that really, really adores you, okay, um, and this person's jealous of that, or it could be cancer that you're just loved by friends, by family members, by customers, if you own a business, you're successful. The emperor in the reverse now, cancer, is somebody that is in a rage. This is someone that is controlling. This is somebody that is operating from the lowest vibration ever. This is someone that's dominating. This is somebody that wants to, I feel, take this from you. This is, there's someone here that wants to steal your joy. And cancer, you know, you just can't understand why. You just can't understand why this person would want to hurt you at all. Like, it's you. It's just like, what, but why? You know what I'm saying? What, did, what am I doing to this person? Probably nothing, cancer. I don't know. But it's like this person wants to punish you because of something that you have achieved or something that you are doing here. Okay. No, I feel like I want to use a different deck for this. Hold on. Spirit, tell me about cancer. What is happening here with cancer? What is the T here? Grudge holder. I'm telling you, this person has some type of grudge towards you. This card always freaks me out. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Like someone here just looks at you with hatred when you're not looking. Like it could be when you're not looking. Tell me about cancer and travel. This is someone that lives at a distance from you. Um, you know, Cancer, maybe you're moving somewhere uh, or maybe you're going on vacation. Or maybe this is someone that's mad because you're moving forward in life. This is a stalker. Creeping and curious about you. This is someone that's all up in your business, Cancer. You know, this is someone that's all up in your business. They want to see what you're doing, where you're going. We've got groupie and spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. Cancer, there's more than one. This person's the ringleader. Okay, this person's the ringleader, but there's more than one person. There, there's a few people here that are, are gathered together to talk crap on you. These people sit there and they stalk you and they talk about you and they want to see you fail. And you're over here dodging bullets. You're blocking negative energy, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. I mean, you know what it is? It's like no matter how much negative energy or evil eye or some some of you, these people could be doing spell work maybe, you know, whatever it is that they wish on you, you're just dodging it. You're over here looking like the matrix. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're just dodging things left and right here. It's not really phasing you and I feel cancer again I mean it's like you uh, cancer let me tell you right now whatever you're doing congratulations and I am so freaking proud of you because you know um uh, if you don't have any haters in your life, then you're not going in the right direction, okay? They're annoying like mosquitoes all up in your face, but if you don't have haters in your life, you're not doing the right thing, okay? So, you know, as a Cancer, congratulations. I am proud of you. I am give, sending you love and light and all the strength and love and protection that I could muster from these people, okay? Tell me about Grudge Holder here for Cancer. 
What is the grudge? Six of Swords because you're leaving. Six of Swords has traveled. You know, maybe you're you're moving out of a bad neighborhood and going into something better, or maybe you're buying a house and you're moving from an apartment into a house, or maybe your finances are getting better, or you met someone and you're in a love connection and life is getting better. I don't know. Tell me about travel and the devil. Okay, you're literally moving away from toxic energy and you've got je people that are obsessively jealous over what you're doing here. Tell me about this devil and travel and the Hierophant. You are spiritually blessed here, Cancer. Because the things that you have coming into your life are things that are going to stick. The Hierophant is contracts, okay? And it's long term. And it's long term. Cancer, whatever positive things that you have coming into your life, they're here to stay. They're not going anywhere. And this person hates you for it. They hate you for it. Tell me about creeping and the Ace of Swords. They're trying to find information about you. This person may even mess up. And like, you know, like when you're stalking an Instagram or a Facebook page, they may even mess up and like friend request you by accident or like something by accident and you just kind of see it real fast. Tell me about this Ace of Swords and Creepin' and the Queen of Swords. I mean, there's definitely someone here. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, a Taurus maybe, or a Capricorn, um, an Aries, an Aquarius. Um, so cancer, yeah, there's definitely someone here that is, uh, is watching, trying to find information, curious about you, please. And the seven of swords, this is someone that's trying to either copy your vibe or they're trying to see what you're doing so they can copy it. This could be somebody that's trying to catch you in a lie or they want to lie about something that you're doing. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. This person maybe wants to take your words and twist them or I, I don't know. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords with Curious About You and the Nine of Cups. Maybe this person doesn't understand how successful you are. Like there's no way that you are actually that successful or there's no way. Like, for instance, let's just say you lost 50 pounds. This person's trying to be like, no, there's no way that cancer actually just, you know, ate grilled chicken and dieted and worked out for 30 minutes a day and did the right thing. No, cancer's like puking themselves or cancer's doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And I'm going to go ahead and expose it to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like to them, it's like there's no way that cancer is just this successful on their own they're doing something they're doing something and i'm going to find out what it is and i'm going to expose them and then cancer is going to lose everything like that's kind of like the energy that i'm getting here tell me about spiritual hater we've got the moon yeah i mean this is we've got the moon under the deck and magic this is someone that could be doing magic to try to hurt you especially on new moons and full moons okay this is someone that, you know, sometimes, you, you know, sometimes cancer, this is just how it is. Your light it irritates this person's demons, okay? Um, this person just hates the way you glow. They hate it, okay? Page of Swords, the Sun, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody with groupie here. It's, it's a few people here. So this could be like multiple family members, multiple friends. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a group of people here, Cancer, that are literally watching you, um, you know, be happy. And with that Ace of Pentacles, maybe some of you guys are coming into money. Maybe you started a new job. Maybe you started a new relationship. Maybe you're getting a large sum of money. I don't know. I don't know, okay? But there's something extremely new and extremely stable. If you lost weight, it's going to stay off. Um, if you're starting a different lifestyle or moving to a new house or whatever, that's going to be in your life for a lot. If you started a new business, it's going to be very successful and prosperous, and it's going to last long term. These people, you know, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper right now, Cancer. Oh, well, come back again. Leave a message. Try again tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You're just in, the, you know, the way the divine has you set up right now, Cancer, is no weapon formed against you is going to prosper at this moment in time. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's just not going to happen. 
Um, it, it's just not going to happen for these people. And with the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man, for, for these people that are trying to send you negative energy or negative magic, they're sitting here waiting, trying to understand why it's not working. With the Nine of Swords, you got these people up all night. Stress the hell out. Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups, they don't want you to be loved by people. They don't want you to feel happy, feel loved. They don't want you to have security or stability. They don't want you to have friends. They don't want you to have a relationship that you're in. They don't want you to have customers. They don't want you to have, they just don't want you to have. Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. This is literally a group of people and you got the Ten of Pentacles. So that Ten of Pentacles could be a, a relationship, a marriage, a business. These are people that are getting together, trying to talk about how they can end this, how they can end this. And it's just not going to work. Death card and the Six of Pentacles. They don't want you to receive anymore. Death card, Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. And it's kind of scary here, Cancer, because I feel like, I got to be honest, I feel like you don't even shit these people. Like the last thing you're even worried about is who they are or what they're doing or whatever. Like you're just waking up every day in beast mode, slaying, doing your thing. Like the... The last thing on, on your mind is hating on anybody or anyone else's success or, you know, if you see someone that's in a happy marriage, you're just like, oh, God bless you. I hope one day I find someone like that. If you see someone making money, you're going to, you know, oh, God bless. I'm so, I'm so uh, you know, it makes my heart so happy that you're prosperous. And if you want that too, maybe you'll go and learn a trade or do something. You know, you're going to, you're not spending your time, Cancer, on hating on other people. You're spending your time focusing on your own ascension and building a life for yourself. Okay, guys, you have to understand the grass that grows is the grass that, uh, you know, the grass that gets watered is the, gas, the, the grass that's going to grow. If you spend all your time hating on people, that doesn't leave you much time for your own personal growth, right? Okay, so you're not really, you're staying in your lane, Cancer. Do you see what I'm saying? You're just focused on yourself, your happiness, your joy. You're not worried about anything and your life is growing and prospering. The people that are sitting there having these conversations huddled up together and hating on you, you know, that is time that could be spent on them succeeding in life, but they're directing their energy in a very bad way. And, you know, as within, so without, right, Cancer? So whatever they have inside of them is what they're going to have around them. And if they have hatred around them, then that's what they're going to have. In their love relationships, they're going to have problems. In work, they're going to have problems, you know, but they're doing that to themselves. Okay, they're doing that to themselves. So let's go ahead and do Cancer and all 12 signs. Okay, Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love, Aries to Pisces. Okay, if we're dealing with an Aries, Seven of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, no. Cancer, if this Aries wants to come in and reconcile with you, don't do it because they still have someone on the side. Okay, if we're dealing with a Taurus, Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot, this person misses you, Cancer. They see you as single, abundant, independent, prosperous, beautiful, handsome. Uh, they're choosing to come towards you. They feel very lonely when they're not in your presence. If we're dealing with a Gemini, Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Empress. So Cancer, if you're dealing with a Gemini, okay, um... If you're dealing with a Gemini, this person may be fresh out of a marriage or something like that, but I do feel like they're ready for a new beginning in love. Um, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Gemini and you're ending things with a Gemini, um, I feel like you're going to find love very quickly. Or if you're ending a situation with anyone else, you can be meeting a Gemini and that is the new person. And I do feel like it's going to be a new beginning in love. If we're dealing with another Cancer, Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Cups, um, Cancer, if you're dealing with another Cancer, this is someone that you're currently at a stalemate with. You haven't spoken to this person. You walked away. They walked away. You thought it was over, but it's not. You're about to hear from them again. If we're dealing with a Leo, Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Tower, 
Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like you feel like something bad is going to happen. You feel like something's happening behind your back. You feel like sh you feel like something's going to hit the fan. Do you see what I'm saying? You can feel it coming and it's it's coming. It's here. If we're dealing with a Virgo, three of swords, the king of wands, and the three of pentacles. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this person really wants to work things out with you. They're heartbroken without you, but they're hiding behind their ego right now. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, this person can't forget you. They can't forget you. You're, you're just like, you're everything to this person. They're going to come in and apologize. They can't stop thinking about you. You live rent-free in this person's head. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups... Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is someone that has a lot of remorse and they have a lot of regret for what happens, but I'm going to tell you why. It's because the Ten of Pentacles is being blocked from them. Okay, this person, either their money is being affected or their stability is being affected, um, and that is why they are so remorseful here because it, it's something with, you know, I don't know, their life is being affected and they can't seem to get that 10 of pentacles, okay? If we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the strength card, the 10 of cups, and the six of pentacles. If you're dealing with a Sag, I do feel, I feel like this person loves you very much, but they, they give their time, they don't give their all to you in this connection. They give their time and energy to other people. I'm not seeing cheating per se, but friends, family, um, they're not, um, there may be a little bit of a breadcrumbing energy here just because this person's busy, but it doesn't mean they don't love you, okay? If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Knight of Wands, the Fool card, and the Justice card, this person's a whole hoochie. You're dealing with a karmic. This person's just out for sex and they're out to play. This is not someone, this is a karmic. This is someone that is not ready to settle down. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, if this person lives at a distance or whatever the case may be, I do feel like this person wants long-term commitment with you. True soul tie, King and Queen of Cups, guys, okay? If they live at a distance, they're coming to see you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Page of Swords, the Lover's Card, and the Four of Pentacles. Um, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, you're going to realize that this person has either an addiction or a third-party energy that they have not released. They may have told you that they stopped doing something or they stopped talking to somebody, but it's not true. They're still messing with it, okay? All right, guys. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Take care.